Good morning, investors and traders. In today's segment, we'll be talking about BTC's rally and how resilient this particular rally is. Because of course, we have seen some tremendous um, upward swings in the BTC price. And now traders have started to question the current state of the market um, because obviously BTC is highly positively correlated with the risk on assets such as the US 500, the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And the question now is if there is some sort of a lack of momentum in the risk on assets, how that will impact BTC's price. And that is what traders and investors will be looking at. And in this particular segment, I'll be looking at some specific price levels to see where that is really going to be going from here. As always, it is important for me to go through this brief disclaimer. Nothing can be perceived as an advice. The full disclaimer is right in front of you. A bit about myself. My name is Naeem Aslam. I work as a chief analyst for Amitrade and I come with a wealth of over 15 years of trading experience. Here are our social media handles. I do recommend you guys to follow us there as we do share important information throughout the day. Now, the chart which is in front of you is the daily time frame for BTC or for Bitcoin. Now, overall, when we look at the price action over here, what we really see is that yes, the downward trend in terms of the price action was right over here. Let me draw that again and then we just kind of change the color of that particular arrow because it is a downward trend. So this was the actual trend and it was right around here where we started to see the price suit of changing its direction and then we've seen this bit of a rally, this small rally. In a scheme of a big things, it's nothing because obviously, you know, we are still massively lower uh, down from the all time high and then this is just a very, very small rally, something like that we also experienced it right over here as well. But it didn't really help and we did see the rally over here as well when the price dropped like this so these particular rallies this one or this this one was bigger this one was a smaller one and then we did see a little bit of a rally over here as well which is pretty much slightly bigger than that and now we're seeing this particular rally now the question really is will these rallies will actually make something more meaningful will we see a return to this particular price level or are we going to go further to the downside that is the question among investors and traders that uh, is very much influencing their trading decision now if we focus on the price levels over here we see that the price is on the on the on the move to the upside the immediate resistance is right over here at this particular area which is about 25150 and after that the level that really matters in terms of the price action is right over here so we're focusing on that 31 to 32000 sort of a price level for me only when the price breaks this particular level and the price breaks this particular level we are likely to see an actual rally that is going to be more likely to take us to over that to this particular price level and beyond that than anything else because these sm smaller rallies that we are seeing especially this particular one right over here it doesn't excite me that much yes we have a rally but so what because we are still down so much massively in comparison to the previous levels in comparison to this particular level now another thing that really kind of worries me in the current state of the market is where the rsi is trading look it is trading above that critical level of 70 which is associated as overbought the last time that we saw the price action reaching this particular level was one was right over here and that was back in January 2021 and before that we did see the price action reaching this level back in the in the in the December of 2020 so and after that what we experienced was we saw a pretty decent sell-offs in the in the RSI as you could see so it there was a decent sell-off, not the all-time or, or the best sell-off, because obviously the best sell-off is right over here. But the price at the same time, 
is also looking at this particular price action this particular price action of that 30 uh, where the prices have moved much much higher from that so keep an eye on that we'll be back with more analysis soon